What is up DTube? So today I want to do a hex video talking a little bit about a great tweet that I found on Twitter from hex underscore live and uh, it is the guy that is also behind the great website called hex.live which is at the moment the best website to track uh, or maybe not the best <laughs> you have some other great websites also you have hexinfo.io and you have hex.vision that's also pretty great but hex.live is pretty cool if you especially if you want to track um if you want to track interest because they made some interest updates so you can see your yearly api and also what's pretty interesting is they almost have a real-time interest uh, interest updater which is kind of cool and also they're doing great with uh, displaying the current price in real time better than uh, better than even those other websites because i think they're using their own api to uh, to real time get uh, the uniswap uh, uh, price for hex in usd in uh, in ethereum and in bitcoin so today i want to talk a little bit about this great tweet from from hex underscore live and the website hex live uh, or it's his website so he made a great tweet again talking a little bit about the hex censorship and this is something that i talked a little bit in i talked a little bit about in the past but this was kind of like a fun tweet where it uh, in a funny way kind of summarized it as um, so the tweet said 2020 censorship Oly olympics censorship olympics of hex of course uh, and it listed coin market cap coin gecko uniswap metamask whale alert and DeFi pulse and i also want to add in one other one here which is I mean, I would I would give them. They're not the worst. They're probably the least worst because they covered hex a little bit in the beginning, but then they ignored it for many many months. But that would be Coin Telegraph. But Coin Telegraph, they're not the worst. They're probably the least worst of all of these guys. Probably the worst guy is uh, Coin Market Cap. So I'm also want to add in another word in this, uh, and that is that this is uh, 2020 censorship mafia olympics because i mean they're really behaving that way in, in many ways i think uh so let's go over this again okay so coin market cap which is the biggest website that is supposed to track the biggest coins in cryptocurrency they still now six months later are not tracking hex properly it's not on the front page it is still if I go to coin market cap today, let's go to hex and see what kind of position they have ranked that coin, which is actually a top 20 coin right now. On on coin market cap, on coin market cap right now, it still is ranked 203, which is 100 and almost 180 positions wrong. So that tells you a lot about the credibility uh that you can't really trust coin market cap anymore coin market cap that uh, was bought by binance which is a centralized exchange that also very very recently used their customer funds to take over to do a hostile takeover of the steam depos blockchain and replaced all the top 20 witnesses they did that uh, i think in march so binance is is up to a lot of shady business uh gatekeeping coins like hex and um, taking over depos chains and making this industry worse so they are basically the first one here which you should be aware of uh, coin market cap cannot be trusted at all uh, second guy you, you can't really trust anymore uh, is coin gecko so Okay, first of all, also coin market cap say that they provide, uh, they 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 saying that you're providing fair uh, real data and like honest data, but it's it's not honest. Why is hex top two hundred three coin, <laughs> and why are you censoring it? Uh, second, coin gecko, 
uh, and uh, I even sent an email to CoinGecko that they should really like fix their their listings because they also if I go to CoinGecko right now they're only displaying the price but it, not even that is that good because it's not like real time uh, they use horrible like APIs or something like that so if I go to to CoinGecko at the moment and I see what kind of position they're ranking they're ranking hex as top 3787 coin which is wrong uh, they're not really doing their job right of, of listing coins horrible job here from CoinGecko what else do we have in here oh yeah Uniswap Uniswap is pretty funny so on github there was basically a post that made a token request to add hex token so you basically can find it when you search in Uniswap v v1 now they have v2 out and this post this was a token request in the github for Uniswap that was uh, it was it, it, it was written 16th of December 2019 can you please add hex so when you search for hex you don't have to use like a special link and uh, basically now uh, they basically closed this thread so Uniswap locked as spam and limited conversations to collaborators they did this on the 24th of April they basically locked the thread and uh, they should really be they're really high up there in, in the censorship mafia uh, they hate hex basically and they're really trying their best to like gatekeep it so that's kind of weird because in uniswap it's one of the top uh, hex and eth pair is one of the top coins on uniswap at the moment and they're basically they're basically gatekeeping it uh, so that's kind of weird so yeah, Uniswap, another guy that uh, is not that good of a player. Uh, they're not playing fair, uh, even though, and, and that's the weird part, right? Because Uniswap, thanks to Uniswap, at the same time, Hex uh, has a, a cool exchange. So the exchange is kind of cool, but there's censorship where you have to use a special link to find Hex. Uh, that's not that cool, man uh you you are pretty anti anti crypto uh, if you're doing that and then we have another guy and that is metamask so even metamask the weird part about metamask is, is like so metamask uh, they themselves has kind of been censored from google their app got removed for a bunch of reasons and then they complained about that but i think with the metamask it's also like if you search for hex in MetaMask, you're not really finding it that easy. So it seems to be pretty, it seems like they're quite hostile against the uh, hexagons. And then we do have whale alert, whale underscore alert on Twitter. And they basically wrote on May the 4th, 2020, after this amazing run up in, in price of hex, they wrote, we normally do not comment on projects, but we have decided to remove Hex from Whale Alert because it does not fit our view of what blockchain is about. Okay, so you basically, you don't think blockchain is about trustless interest and making it so people have their own keys. Genius. Uh, and then they wrote the last one. Make sure you do your research and be very of big promises. There is no promises in Hex. No expectations. It's a complete project. So you're basically lying here when you say be wary of big promises. And they're also writing this behind a, an a anonymous account. So you don't know who, who really writes this because they're cowards. They, they, um, they don't want to have their face on a video and actually say, oh, I actually wrote this. I actually believe in this. So yeah, they're basically lying up here and they don't want people to know about hex. They don't believe in power to the people. They don't believe in empowering people with trustless interest, locking up their coins, uh, prevent or making it so you get a better environment if someone would want to try to massively dump a lot of coins. If they're staked, then they would have to pay a penalty. 
and well alert. It doesn't seem like they enjoy innovation and improvements in this industry. And even on their icon that they have on Twitter, uh, they have a big whale jumping over a Bitcoin logo and uh, XRP logo, Tron logo, Ethereum logo. So it seems like they like a lot of other weird coins like Tron, which is doing a lot of gambling scams and uh, XRP, which is just like a, a DLT ledger, uh, which uh, where they say that they have a lot of, they're working with a lot of banks, even though there's almost no evidence for it. So they seem to be enjoying a lot of other trash that's out there. But Hex, which is actually a complete project, use a smart contract, audited and, and locked code, doesn't seem like they like that. They don't like good stuff, apparently. Uh, and then we do have DeFi polls. So DeFi polls, this is kind of funny. So I did a video on DTube a couple of months ago, and I was talking a little bit about, I was talking a little bit good about DeFi polls because it seems like they were focused on decentralized finance. And this was before Hex was super big. So I was considering, wow, kind of cool, 1 billion locked in DeFi with uh and and you saw with DeFi polls they had like they tracked a little bit about decentralized finance and now it's kind of funny because now hex has basically doubled that so hex went up to 1 billion in market cap it's a little bit down right now to around 888 million market cap but this is kind of funny so DeFi polls they they say that they are all about like decentralized finance and um, they're li they're listing locked USD so they're listing Maker at $456 million locked, Synthetics, which is just derivatives, $118 million locked, Compound, which is just lending, Aave, Instadap. So they, they are listing lending, lending on Ethereum uh, that is on the Ethereum chain, and they're listing derivatives, but they're not listing, uh, uh, they're not listing uh, trustless interest with... Uh, with time locks, a decentralized time deposit that Hex is, which is obviously already a better product than both derivatives and lending. And they're only listing lending and derivatives. Even Maker, which is the top category, or Maker, which is the top um, top in this list here on Ethereum, it's also used lending. But clearly, clearly Hex is better. It's a decentralized time deposit. It should be listed as the uh, uh as the as, as one of the top guys here should, should actually be listed as top two behind maker because at the moment locked usd in uh, in hex is 256 million dollars so they should be listing it as top two but i can't find it i can even find uniswap here at uh, position seven but that's only locked USD of 31 million US. And you have like, yeah, it should be listed as top two here in DeFi. But, and that would actually take the total value locked USD again up to a billion uh, on DeFi Pulse because now it's down to $865 million. But it seems like they don't know about the biggest thing that has happened in crypto this year, Hex. It seems like they're totally unaware of it even though they are focusing on decentralized finance. So why are they kind of not listing Hex? So DeFi Pulse is one of these other kind of bad actors here in this censorship Olympics. And uh, I mean, as I said, I mean, Cointelegraph behaved a bit worse. I mean, they're not the worst player in this industry. Uh, they wrote a new article that wasn't horrible, but it wasn't great either. Uh, but uh, they, they did that article, I think, one month ago, or maybe it was a few weeks ago. I did a video about it. If you want to see, you can find it on my DTU page or on my YouTube page. Um, so that is what I want to talk a little bit about. So great list here from, um, from, uh, from Hex underscore live on Twitter to list this censorship Olympics again. And obviously, just because... A lot of hex probably would be bigger uh, if these act bad actors wouldn't behave this bad, 
uh, it probably would be bigger than now because if people saw hex in, in coin market cap that would add more credibility because people trust coin market cap it's the same as with coin gecko uh, people kind of trust them to to show honest data and and if people actually saw the truth about things and truth about this industry that hex most likely will be a top 10 coin quite soon uh, may even happen in the next uh, 90 days or so 90 to 120 days maybe who knows but uh, it may not happen also <laughs> but uh, but yeah hex probably would grow bigger and would help more people if these bad actors uh, weren't cooperating in like a mafia style way to like gatekeep together because basically that's what they're doing they're probably talking to each other behind the scenes and uh, and it seems like a pretty targeted approach because obviously they know about text right now because it's the biggest thing going on now in crypto and it's performing basically amazing so the current price of hex in usd is 0 0.00474 which is almost a half a penny so it's just performing amazing um and that is without any expectations and just a complete project without any admin keys even, even if you go to market at the moment the roi in usd is 84x roi in btc 69x and roi in ethereum 56x you can't even perform better in uh, i would say in like in, in six months uh yeah so it's going to be interesting to study these actors and see what you're going to do when hex is like top three crypto and um, it seems like maybe a little bit that the tides are turning maybe because i saw that bbox is going to list hex and i think that i mean obviously they're not as good as uniswap but i've used bbox in the past and when i used it then it was pretty decent actually and it's kind of interesting it's going to be interesting to follow hex once it gets on, on on more exchanges and see how these big players are are going to behave it's going to be very very fascinating so it's going to be interesting to see you know what if if people use those platforms to trade when they already have ethereum and uh and already can do it on chain with uniswap yeah so that's what i want to talk a little bit about today have a great day, DTube and uh, Hexagons. Yeah, bye-bye.